Have you ever wondered why some people always seem to struggle with money, no matter how much they earn? The truth is, it's often not about how much you make, but how you spend it. Many people waste money on things they don't really need, which keeps them stuck in a cycle of financial stress. In this video, I will show you 10 common things poor people waste their money on. By understanding these habits and making smarter choices, you can learn to live frugally, save money, and even start investing for the future. Frugal living isn't about being cheap, it's about being smart with your money and making it work for you. Whether you're trying to save for a big purchase or simply want to stop living paycheck to paycheck, these tips will help you take control of your personal finances. Number 1. Renting instead of buying, when it makes sense to buy. Many people waste money by renting things for a long time when it would be smarter to buy them. This can apply to housing, cars, furniture, or even electronics. Renting may seem cheaper at first, but over time, the cost adds up. For example, renting a house or apartment may seem easier, but after years of paying rent, you have nothing to show for it. Meanwhile, buying a house can build wealth over time because the value of the property may increase. The same goes for items like furniture or electronics. Renting might give you short-term convenience, but it costs more in the long run. If you know you'll need something for a long time, it often makes sense to buy it instead of renting. Frugal living means thinking about the long term. Before renting something, ask yourself if buying would be a smarter choice. You might need to save money first, but owning something can save you money in the future and help you build financial security. The key is to do the math and see what makes sense for your situation. Number 2. Lottery Tickets and Gambling Many people waste their money on lottery tickets and gambling, hoping to get rich quick. The truth is, the chances of winning big are extremely small. Most people spend more money on tickets and bets than they ever win back. This can lead to a dangerous cycle, where people keep spending, hoping their luck will change, but it rarely does. Instead of throwing money away on the lottery or gambling, it's smarter to save and invest that money. Even small amounts saved regularly can grow over time and help you reach your financial goals. Gambling might seem fun or exciting in the moment, but it usually leaves you with less money in the end. If you want to improve your financial situation, focus on making smart, long-term decisions with your money instead of relying on luck. Investing wisely will give you better results than gambling ever could. Number three, credit card debt and high interest loans. Credit card debt and high interest loans are two major ways people waste money. When you use a credit card and don't pay off the full balance every month, interest starts adding up quickly. This means you'll pay much more than what you originally spent. Many people only pay the minimum amount each month, which keeps them stuck in a cycle of debt for years. The longer you take to pay off your balance, the more money you lose to interest. High interest loans like payday loans or personal loans are another trap. They might seem like a quick solution when you need money fast, but they come with very high interest rates. This means you end up paying back much more than you borrowed. To avoid these traps, it's important to use credit cards wisely. Pay off the full balance each month if you can, or at least pay as much as possible to avoid extra interest. Also, try to build an emergency fund so you don't have to rely on high interest loans. Saving money and being careful with debt will help you stay in control of your finances and avoid wasting money on interest. Number four, car payments and leasing. Many people waste money by making high car payments or leasing expensive cars. While it might feel good to drive a brand new car, the truth is that cars lose value quickly. The moment you drive a new car off the lot, it starts to lose value. This means you're paying a lot of money for something that won't be worth as much later. Leasing can seem like a good option because the monthly payments are lower, but in the long run, you end up spending more. After the lease ends, you don't own the car and may have to start another lease or buy a car. Instead, consider buying a reliable used car that's within your budget. You'll avoid high monthly payments and won't lose as much value over time. Being smart with car purchases is a key part of frugal living and helps you save money for more important things. Number five, delivery fees and tipping. Delivery fees and tipping can add up quickly, making something as simple as ordering food or getting groceries much more expensive. Many people don't realize how much extra money they're spending when they choose delivery over picking up items themselves. Each time you order delivery, you're not only paying for the food but also a delivery fee, 
service charges, and a tip for the driver. While tipping is important for supporting workers, it's important to consider how often you're paying these extra costs. If you make it a habit, these small fees can drain your budget without you realizing it. A smarter way to save money is by picking up your food or groceries yourself whenever possible. Cooking at home more often is another great way to avoid delivery fees altogether. By cutting back on these unnecessary expenses, you can keep more money in your pocket and stay on track with your financial goals. Number six, celebrations and parties. Many people spend too much money on celebrations and parties, trying to make every event perfect or impressive. Birthdays, holidays, and other special occasions often come with high costs for food, decorations, gifts, and entertainment. While it's nice to celebrate, it's easy to go overboard and spend more than you can afford. Some people feel pressure to host big, fancy parties or buy expensive gifts to show they care. But in reality, you don't need to spend a lot of money to have a good time or make someone feel special. Simple, thoughtful celebrations can be just as meaningful without the hefty price tag. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars on a single event, try to plan budget-friendly celebrations. For example, you can host a potluck where everyone brings a dish or plan fun activities that don't cost much, like a movie night at home or a picnic in the park. Setting a budget for parties and sticking to it can help you enjoy the event without feeling stressed about money afterward. By keeping celebrations simple, you'll save money and still create happy memories with family and friends, which is what really matters. Number seven, entertainment and lifestyle inflation. Entertainment and lifestyle inflation happen when people start spending more money as they earn more, thinking they need to keep upgrading their lifestyle. This often means spending on expensive vacations, fancy dinners, or new gadgets just because they can afford it at the moment. However, these habits can quickly drain your savings and leave you living paycheck to paycheck, even if you're making more money than before. It's important to enjoy life, but there are plenty of budget-friendly ways to have fun. Instead of spending on costly activities, look for free or low-cost entertainment like going to a local park, having a game night, or finding free community events. The key to frugal living is to avoid lifestyle inflation. Just because you can spend more doesn't mean you should. By keeping your spending in check, you can save money and still enjoy life without feeling stressed about your finances. Number eight, luxury cars and financing. Many people dream of owning a luxury car, but buying one can lead to serious financial problems, especially when financing is involved. Luxury cars are expensive, and taking out a loan to buy one often means high monthly payments for many years. On top of that, luxury cars lose value quickly, so by the time you finish paying off the car, it's worth much less than what you paid. Financing a luxury car also means you end up paying even more because of interest. The more expensive the car, the more you're paying in interest over time. Instead of buying a new luxury car, consider getting a reliable used car that fits your budget. This way, you avoid high monthly payments and lose less money as the car ages. Choosing a car you can truly afford helps you stay on track with your financial goals and avoid unnecessary debt. Number nine, trendy gadgets and electronics. Many people waste money by constantly buying the latest trendy gadgets and electronics. Whether it's a new smartphone, tablet, or gaming console, these devices can be very expensive. The problem is that electronics lose their value quickly because new models are released every year. This means people spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars on gadgets that will soon be outdated. Another issue is that companies often market these products as must-haves, making people feel like they need the newest gadget to stay up to date. However, most of the time, the new features aren't much different from the older versions. Instead of chasing the latest tech trends, a smarter choice is to only buy electronics when you truly need them. Look for reliable, functional gadgets that fit your needs and consider buying used or refurbished devices to save money. By taking better care of your electronics and using them for as long as possible, you can avoid wasting money on upgrades that don't really add value to your life. This way, you can put your money toward more important things like savings, investments, or paying off debt. Number 10, buying lunch every day. Buying lunch every day may seem convenient, but it quickly adds up and becomes a major waste of money. Even if you're only spending a few dollars each day, the cost can be much higher over time. For example, 
Spending $10 on lunch five days a week adds up to $50 a week or $200 a month. Over a year, that's around $2,400 just on lunches. Instead of buying lunch, a more frugal option is to prepare your meals at home. Packing a lunch not only saves money, but also gives you more control over what you eat, which can be healthier too. Simple homemade meals like sandwiches, salads, or leftovers from dinner can cost a fraction of what you'd spend eating out. By planning your meals and packing lunch regularly, you can save hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars each year. That saved money can be used for more important financial goals. In conclusion, many people waste money on things they don't really need, which keeps them from reaching their financial goals. Whether it's buying lunch every day, spending on trendy gadgets, or getting caught in credit card debt, these habits can make it hard to save money and get ahead. By understanding where your money is going, you can start making smarter choices. Frugal living isn't about giving up everything you enjoy, but about finding ways to live better without wasting money. By making small changes and thinking long-term about big purchases can help you save more and build financial security. The key is to be mindful of your spending and focus on what really matters. With better habits, you can start using your money wisely, pay off debt, save for the future, and even invest in your dreams. Now, if you want to learn how to achieve financial success, then watch this video next. If you made it to this point in the video, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.